The other week, I showed you a political ad making headlines across the United States. Now, our lawyers tell me again, we have to warn you that this ad contains some graphic images. Democrats like to say that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense. That no one could possibly need all 30 rounds. But when this rifle is the only thing standing between your family and a dozen angry Democrats in Klan hoods, you just might need that semi-automatic. Jerome Davison is the Republican congressional candidate from Arizona behind that ad, and I am so glad to tell you he joins me now live from Arizona. Thank you so much, Jerome, for joining me tonight. This ad has caused quite a storm, with some on the left calling it unhinged or nonsensical or insulting. But you're brushing off the criticism, and it points out something important, I think, which is the racist history of the Democratic Party. Is that what you were trying to make the point with this ad? That's absolutely true. I want to, since the, 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 the Democrats want to keep talking about racial narratives, well, then let's talk about the true narrative. And that's what we've been needing for a long time in a GOP, someone who's bold enough and uh, someone who's black, who would stand up for the GOP when the GOP stood up for the black race and freed us. And once they freed us, it was the KKK, the Democrats who created the KKK to make sure that black people did not exercise their Second Amendment right or their right to vote. So I wanted to talk about it. And in 30 seconds, we talked about it and we shook up the world. You did shake up the world, and I thought it was a very artfully shot ad as well. And there was one sh shot in there that reminded me a little bit of Denzel Washington in Malcolm X. I have to ask, you know, was there a deliberate um, sort of cinematic reference to, uh, to that movie there? There was absolutely a shot and a nod to our brother Mal Malcolm X who was uh, used, the media used a propaganda uh, machine against him because Brother Malcolm X only wanted to, to remind the black community that since you are citizens, you can use the Second Amendment. But they made a hero out of Martin Luther King Jr., which is very wonderful. But Martin Luther King Jr. was not for the Second Amendment. And so they made black people celebrate him and wanted to disarm the black community by celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. and not Malcolm X. So, yes, it was a nod to Malcolm X, even the, the, uh, the suit that I had on and the sunglasses and the gun. Yeah, I remember seeing that in the theater and immediately remembered it as soon as I saw your ad. Now, I want to move on to one of your big issues here. You stand firm on upholding freedoms in the First Amendment as well. And on that front, you're talking about an Internet Bill of Rights. What do you hope to achieve with this and why is this so important? Well, just just with the video, my video being censored, uh, that video right there, I mean, they said it was it showed violence or that uh, they was saying that the music wasn't mine. Once I proved the music was mine, then they said it was uh, 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 promoting violence, where I did not pr promote violence. I'm going after them with a First Amendment right. It's called the Internet Bill of Rights. We're going to protect our uh, rights of speech on cyberspace, which is on the Internet. And uh, we're going to stop, prevent censorship. We're going to stop them from uh, spying on us and selling our data. And we're also going to prevent them from attacking our minds, the sovereignty of our minds, with the new uh, uh, AI that's rolling out. Jerome, finally, tell us about what the difference is between uh, your opponent, Democrat Greg Stanton, who you're trying to unseat. What are the big points of difference between you and Mr. Stanton? The big point is that I'm, I'm great at the table issues. You saw the, um, that I'm strong for the First and Second Amendment. The table issues, I want to lower the cost of living, the, core, the cost of inflation, the cost of gas. We want to close the border. He voted 100 percent with those things. And these are the things that Americans are concerned about because they have to face this every day when they go to the gas pump. I'm going to vote against inflation. I'm going to turn back on the power and the, tap into the energy sources that we have in America. And we're going to vote for those things that would lower the cost of living for everyday Americans. Americans. Jerome Davison, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck with your campaign, and maybe we'll catch up with you again uh, before Election Day.